Welcome back to Grow Tropical Fruits. Today I was just going to do a video on Planea flowers and the different stages of what they look like when they're flowering and fruit development. In this particular case, I'm going to be talking about red hybrid, Java de Cava. It's also known as uh, Hybrida, or it's a cross between Ariana and I believe Cauliflora. So here is my fruiting red hybrid. It's in a 15 gallon pot. This is one of the initial fruitings from this tree. It's only fruited a couple of times so far um, in the past few months. But I fight the birds. They get to the fruits immediately since I don't have much fruits. They will take all of them. So I just have this little net set up here to keep them from getting inside. But if you can see, I got a decent little fruit set on this tree. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the net off and show you guys. When I first started growing them, I was having a hard time finding photo examples of what it looks like when a flower is first forming. And I would often be looking for the bumps and then trying to tell if that's gonna be a new growth or if it's gonna be a, a fruit or a flower. Um, so on this tree, we're kind of at a good point where I can kind of show you different stages of the flower growth. So if we look close here, I'll try and zoom in. This particular growth right there is kind of pointy. That most likely is going to be a branch. But then if you look further up, you have these round, non-pointy ones. Those are going to be flowers. So other examples are like these. These are all different flower bumps. And after the flower um, gets a little bit bigger, you'll be able to tell. Let's see. So these are all different flower bumps. They're not open yet, but they're gonna be there. So if I look over on this Sabra tree, we can see this is starting to flower up. And after it goes from those bumps there, it'll open up to these whitish green buds. And here's different varying sizes of that. And then after those, after they're about that size, it's gonna be maybe a day or two before they open up and look like this when they open up. So that's what a Plinia Javadacava Sabara flower looks like. Pretty much all the Javadacavas are going to look similar as far as the flowers, but this is a good way to, to see. They'll go from a little dimple on the tree to a bud, to a white bud, and then it'll open up like that. And then this will only last for like a day, like this, and then it's gonna kinda shrivel up a bit and look like these guys here. So these were flowers yesterday, and now they're already kinda going away. Here's some more. And then after those tiny fruits set, they'll look like these green guys. And then those will swell and get bigger and look kind of like that until you end up with fully ripe fruits like this. And they'll get red first, but I notice that they're not actually ripe when they're in the red stage. You want them to get almost like purple black for the so the, the hybridas, the hybrid red hybrids. But now if I touch this, I can kind of like squeeze it. I don't know if you can see it's got some give to it. That tells me it's going to be delicious. So let's do a little twist. And this will just come right off. So the birds would have eaten this like 
well before it was ripe. So that's why I put the net on it to protect it. They're not huge off of this tree yet, but this is, like I said, the first time. It's only fruited a couple times um, within the past few months, but pretty much since it started fruiting, it hasn't stopped. It's either in a stage of flowering again or just finished fruiting or in between. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the rest of these. I'm just gonna pick the ripe fruits and keep any green ones on there. Hopefully, don't accidentally knock them off. Not a big crop, maybe about a dozen fruits, but that's fine. This is, like I said, a new fruiting tree, so you can only expect so much in the beginning. I'm gonna rinse these off and then get some measurements on them. This is the first one I picked. Feels pretty soft, so this has the best chance of being sweet. The skin just kind of fell off. Wow. really sweet. Let's see what the bricks percentage is. Very, very sweet, delicious. Similar to a Sabra, Jabba Jagaba, but it's almost like it's got more of a complex flavor, like a berry flavor to it. That one fruit had two decent sized seeds in it. I'm hoping something is special inside these because I tried cross-pollinating them with an anomaly flower from my seedling. Chances are I didn't do it correctly, so I'm not getting my hopes up. But I'll put those off to the side to find out later. So this one feels a little more firm, so it might be a lower number. Of course, I grabbed the most dull knife I had. what this measures. Twenty is good. That's like about as sweet as a sabra will get when perfectly ripe. That one just had one large seed, but it 
But once I clean it, I bet there's actually two seeds stuck together in there. Or some mutant giant seed. But I think you guys get the idea. Red hybrids, delicious, sweet fruits, grows fast. This tree is probably four to five years old. Probably closer to five if I had to guess by its size. If you wanna not feed just the birds, I suggest you put a net on it until you have so much fruits that you can't possibly eat them all yourself. But this Sabra here, I just gave a pretty good heavy pruning to the canopy to open it up, let more sunlight in. Immediately after doing that, a bunch of flowers started popping. So I think there is something to it. You're gonna need sunlight to hit the branches to promote heavier flowering and better fruit set. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, I hope you guys learned something. Now you can look at your trees and see um, what kind of bumps they have and if it's flower bumps or if it's just more branches to kind of pull on your leg. But if you look closely here, you can see they have like a, a rounded tip to them and they're not super pointy. And then you have some flowers forming. So again, not a flower, flower. you learn something. If this is all common to you, then I understand. This is just for a video for my previous self when I was scouring the internet looking for photos, trying to figure out what a first flower looks like when it's developing. And I couldn't find any photos or videos on it. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments section. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content. I hope you guys have a good one and that you didn't have too bad of a winter and that you're able to bring all your plants out in the sun again. Until next time, aloha.